What is up guys? We are back with another video and today of course we're taking a look at the RTX 3090. Now this is a very interesting card because it's named the RTX 3090 uh, so you would think that it would sit above the RTX 3080 in the product stack um, and of course it does but it's kind of in a category all its own. So we're going to tell you all about it. The one we're taking a look at today is Zotex RTX 3090 Trinity. So let's go ahead and take a look. So let's first talk about specs. Um, the RTX 3090 will have 10,496 CUDA cores, 328 Tensor cores, 82 RT cores, and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. That is a very nice upgrade over the card that it is replacing, which is the Titan RTX, which only has 4,608 CUDA cores, 576 Tensor cores, 72 RT cores and 24 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Also, we're gonna throw the, the RTX 3080 specs in there, which has 8,704 CUDA cores, 272 tensor cores, 68 RT cores and 10 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory. The card that we receive from Zotac is their Trinity card. And of course, this is a custom card. It does not have any type of factory overclock either on the GPU speeds or the memory. So you sh it's just you know reference speeds as far as that. But of course we have an aftermarket cooling solution, um, which is a triple fan cooling solution. All the fans are individually controllable, which is really nice. And the fans will turn completely off when the system is idle. So you don't have to worry about you know, sounds and, and things like that. The overall design is kind of basic. We have this sort of gunmetal shroud with our black fans, Zotec logo on the center one, and then the Zotec gaming logo on the outer fans. Um, we have a very large uh, heat sink here, and it's actually a three heat sink design with heat pipes that, um, that of course connect everything. Those heat pipes do make direct contact with the GPU and the heat pipe layout has been improved since the last generation, which is really nice. Flipping over to the back, we have the GeForce RTX and Zotec gaming logos. Uh, this is a full metal cover backplate, which is nice to see. The Zotec gaming logo will light up with RGB lighting. And then on this side, we have another Zotec gaming logo. This lights up extremely bright with RGB lighting, which is really nice. And of course you can control the fans and the lighting using their Firestorm application. We have two eight pin power connections here. Because this is a reference card, we don't need that extra eight pin to of course give us more power. So two eight pin, that would, that's uh, kind of nice to see for a lot of people um, because they were worried about the 3080 that had three pins or three eight pins. So it's nice to see that there. Um, as far as connections go, just like we see on most aftermarket cards, we have three DisplayPort and a single HDMI. And you can see that this card is slotted as a two slot card. Um, it does sit thicker than a two slot card, probably 2.3 slot card, um, but it's pretty small. I, you know, you, you saw the 3090 and you saw this massive card, um, but this card is not all that big. Now it's time for testing. So here are the specs of our graphics card test bench.
So in our gaming testing, you know, we only saw about a five to 9% better performance with the 3090 compared to the 3080. So we wanted to run some other tests that really show the power of the 3090. So the first one is Octane Render. We render out a scene using both cards and the RTX 3090 did it in 37 seconds compared to over five minutes on the 3080, which is incredibly impressive. And then after that, we open DaVinci Resolve and import an 8K clip. As soon as we apply any effect to the clip, the RTX 3080 kind of just craps out because it's out of available memory. The RTX 3090 handles that scene no problem. And then finally, we run Blender. We also, you know, we open a scene to render out and the RTX 3080 cannot handle it at all and we get an error. The RTX 3090 just renders it out no problem. So at the end of the day, one of the biggest problems I have with this graphics card is that it's named the RTX 3090. One would assume that with no context or not knowing anything, you would think, okay, there's a 3080 and there's a 3090. I want the 3090. Um, you know, previously all of the Titan graphics cards were called Titan. And this is a Titan level graphics card. So. The fact that it's named the 3090 is kind of bothersome because it makes people think that it's a gaming card when it's really not. And then on top of that, we have custom cards available from everybody that have RGB lighting and make them look like gaming cards when in all reality, this isn't really a gaming card. But of course, everybody is gonna see this as a gaming card. So of course we tested it as a gaming card. And in our testing, it's only about five to 9% faster than the RTX 3080 at 4K gaming. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know that five to 9% faster is not worth twice the price. Um, and that's just kind of where it sits for gaming. If this is totally a gaming card for you, if you're just gonna be gaming on this, it's really not gonna be worth it. We have already seen people put out videos of them gaming in 8K on this card, which you can do. But one, who's buying an 8K monitor right now? Um, I think the Dell and there's maybe one more that are four to $5,000. Why, when you can buy a 4K monitor uh, with the extra money you're saving by not buying this card, get an RTX 3080 and game at over 100 FPS um, we, of course, didn't test this at 8K Gaming because I wasn't going to go buy a $4,000 monitor. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just not, it doesn't make sense for people who are purely just gaming. And again, NVIDIA knows this. This is not their flagship gaming graphics card. This is a Titan. This is basically what it is. It's a Titan. So they're not worried about that. The RTX 3080 is their flagship gaming card, and that's made for gaming. This one obviously is not. Where the RTX 3090 really shines is in rendering out scenes and AI and content creation. And that's where the 24 gigabytes of GDDR6X memory really, um, that's what really makes this card powerful. In Octane Render, we rendered out a scene in 37 seconds on the RTX 3090. It took over five minutes on the RTX 3080. So if I can cut my render time down to just 37 seconds compared to five minutes, that is worth picking this card up for. But again, you need to have those certain applications. We also you know, tested DaVinci Resolve. It wouldn't even run an 8K clip with effects on the 3080. And in Blender, it wouldn't, it wouldn't render out our scene on the 3080 at all. Now, I wish we could really test against the Titan RTX, which this card is effectively replacing. NVIDIA tells us that you should expect up to 40% you know, better performance. So it would be a nice upgrade um, from the Titan RTX to, of course, this card right here. 
So that brings us to our custom Zotac card, which is their RTX 3090 Trinity. The first thing you see, of course, is their custom cooling solution, which uses three cooling fans. In our testing, it was relatively pretty quiet. And of course, those fans do turn off when the card is idle. You have the RGB lighting. You have uh, the full cover backplate, which is nice. One thing I actually really like about this card, might, have, might be one of my favorite things, is that it's slotted as a two slot card. If you look at the uh, system behind me, I have a vertical graphics card. Most vertical graphics card mounts in cases are two slot only, which means your graphics card needs to be slotted as two slot. While it can be thicker than two slot, it needs to be slotted as two slot to be installed there. I, of course, want to install this in there. Um, and the reference 3090 is slotted as three slots, so I couldn't do that. Um, so I really like that about this card. Beyond the custom cooling solution and backplate, um, this is a reference card in terms of speeds. The clock speeds are referenced, the memory speed is referenced, so it's gonna perform pretty much the same as the reference card. Now, Zotec will be selling this card for $14.99. So again, that price needs to make sense for you. If you're purely just gaming, Think of, you know, for five to 9% better performance than the 3080, it, it just doesn't make sense, at least not to me. I could take that extra money and buy a very nice 4K monitor. I could get some super fast NVMe SSDs. I could, of course, get a new processor, a new motherboard. So just think about that. This is the most powerful gaming graphics card currently available. Um, and that's why a lot of people want it. But again, just think if that if it, is actually gonna make sense to you. Um, that's my only suggestion. Um, but it is nice to kind of see, you know, custom cards come out, but it just confuses the level of the card. Um, that's kind of my big gripe with this, the, the naming, and that, you know, we have custom cards now. So, and of course these custom cards are designed to look like gaming cards with RGB lighting and all that fun stuff. Um, but this really is not a gaming graphics card. So just take all that in. If you have any questions about the RTX 3090, go ahead and leave it in that comment section below. We will have links to our full written review as well as where you can go ahead and pick this card up. If you guys did enjoy this video, I would appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up. And if you enjoy our tech videos, go ahead and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.